So we have the final three and four that we're going to cover quickly, <laughs> which is uh, merchant cards and marketing as a whole. I'll, I'll just talk 30,000 foot view about marketing. Again, another area that um, when we mention, you know, everybody gets a little nervous about looking at marketing costs and, and we never suggest to change vendor partners or change um, how the hospital does business or change relationships. What we do say is, um, you know, are you paying your agreed upon price that's in your agreement? And it's always important to check that. And part of that is a comprehensive invoice review because we've come across all kinds of things, you know, in, in our invoice reviews retrospectively. But also, you know, you, you hospitals should want to know, are they paying the best pricing, even for their marketing services, even if they're getting world-class, phenomenal marketing services, wh why would you want to pay 30% higher? Or at least know it and understand it and maybe address it maybe at the ne next renewal or if, they, if new services, you know, you're going to ask for new services. And so um, we, you know, there's many different aspects in, the, in marketing these days. It's everything from radio, newspaper, to billboards, to now Google. And it's interesting, we're, we've, we're reviewing now Google click rates and um, obviously, we can't change the Google click rates, but we can show hospitals how to optimize that, and and maybe there's some spend that they weren't aware of, um, and from our insights, they can they can better utilize their dollars. But there's a there's a big span of marketing dollars that should get analyzed. Right, absolutely. And then you have the customer relation management tools that are coming through those multiple vendors in the marketplace. And what are those costs and what are those mm -hmm. really optimized results? Uh, you know, we we're talking with, I was the AVP within the marketing division and, and, you know, he was questioning, you know, the numbers coming back from the vendors to say, is this really, this is kind of what do you say, voodoo math. Mm -hmm. um, you know, mm -hmm. how, how do you, how do you evaluate that? And right. that's part of the things that we need to do and we help our clients with. Yeah, that's a great example because how it, there are brand new tools to, um, bring patients through to your hospital, um, but the math that they're the value that they're saying, we always question or or want to refine it a bit to show a true ROI. What is the ROI? And if if the ROI isn't there, then that should be reflected in a different kind of agreement or pricing structure. So, and the number four area is merchant cards and merchant cards and banking fees. You know, they kind of go hand in hand. And um, again. You know, we kind of sometimes forget about those merchant cards, um, but they could have a big impact. You know, people are paying by via credit card. Um, the rates or the percentage of people are paying by credit card is increasing. So if if you've got average rates or in some cases really poor rates, that could add a significant amount of expense to the organization. You don't see it because it's not doesn't come up on an AP spend report. Right, exactly. It's and, and this is different from the the, the purchase cards or the P cards. This mm -hmm. is where you know, a, uh, a patient will come in and, and they'll have a high deductible and, and they'll have to use their credit card or they'll go to the gift shop. Mm -hmm. uh, someone will go to the gift shop to get some flowers I and mean, all those credit card swipes. Mm -hmm. And like you said, you're not going to see it because they're taking their fee out when they give you back your money. Mm -hmm. And so it's important to really evaluate that and look at that. And that's mm -hmm. what we've been doing for 18 years. Mm -hmm. And we've seen the market really change dramatically, dramatically over the last absolutely. two or three years. Mm -hmm. And, um, and, and in that analytics, too, when we're looking at the line item details, you, you get to see, like, chargebacks, and you get to see a lot of things, that, and, and also contract errors. We've, we've also been involved in some large credits. So it's, it's definitely something I say merchant cards should be looked at every year, and, and also banking fees. Um, you know, we've had great opportunities for our hospitals just looking at those fees uh, you know their banking whether it's uh, checking savings those those fees add up quite a bit too and again something that you don't think about day to day but listen uh, fifty thousand seventy five or a hundred thousand dollars in these kind of areas that don't require like you know we talked about earlier P PPI fatigue they're great wins 